Peggy 16. My name is Christian Sadak, and I'm a senior designer here at Zipper Interactive. Today, we'll be taking a closer look at our first PlayStation Vita game, Unit 13. In this video, I'll introduce you to the different methods and tactics you can use to earn higher scores and move up the leaderboard. In Unit 13, you can play how you want, which is why we've given you six different characters to choose from. So regardless of your personal preferences, you can find the right combination of weapons and skills that fit your playstyle best. And that's both on a mission to mission basis and the game as a whole. Let's take a quick look at our operatives. You can see that each one has different skills and weapons that lend themselves well to different styles of gameplay. Ringo, for example, is ideal for stealth missions because of his access to a suppressor and stealth skill scoring bonuses. On the other hand, this bearded guy here, Zeus, is an offensive juggernaut. His shotguns and tough exterior mean that he can deal a lot of damage and take a lot too. Each operative in Unit 13 has their own specialty. Chuckles is a technician, which means he'll be able to spot electronic threats like cameras and laser tripwires. Python here carries machine guns and does heavy, heavy damage to any and everything in sight. He can also detect explosive threats like enemy placed mines and C4. Then you have our marksman Alabama. He's ideal for long range combat and is excellent for sniping bad guys from a distance. For today's walkthrough though, we're going to select Animal. He's our all purpose character and he's great for learning the ropes or for players who don't necessarily want to specialize in any one attribute. Before we get started, one last thing to keep in mind about all the operatives in Unit 13. Using them, any of them, unlocks new gear and weapons for both that individual and the group as a whole. As an example, Animal starts out with a flashbang grenade right out of the box. But once he's earned enough experience to reach level 7, he'll unlock the flashbang grenade for all characters. Each character will also earn their exclusive weapons and attachments as they level up. So by the time Animal reaches level 9, he'll have earned a ton of new goodies, like the grenade launcher, his own unique ACOG scope, and additional killstreak extensions and bonuses. And speaking of killstreak extensions and bonuses, those are the type of elements that make up the core of Unit 13's gameplay. Sure, you can use cover, swap weapons, and zoom in on your targets like you'd expect in most third-person shooters, but what truly separates Unit 13 from other games is our emphasis on scoring. For every major action you perform in the game, you earn points, completing objectives, killing terrorists, and rescuing hostages all keep your score totals racking up. But how well you do them and the special bonuses associated with your selected character also influence your score. Mixing up your attack choices, using stealth or melee kills, or nailing an opponent right between the eyes with a headshot can give you plenty of extra points that you might not get otherwise. Another thing to keep in mind is how aware of your presence the enemy is when you took him down. Melee kill a bad guy when he's alerted to you, and you won't receive nearly as many points as you would if he didn't know you were there. If you perform enough actions of a certain type within a short period of time, like the stealth, headshot, or melee attacks, then you'll start a streak. This icon right here lets you know when you have a streak or streaks active and are racking up extra points. The longer you keep a streak going, the more points you earn. And once the streak is finished, its points are added to your overall score. Unit 13 has a multiplier system. Multipliers modify your score for any points you earn in combat. As you earn more points, you'll also increase your multiplier to higher levels. But be careful. If no new scores are earned, your multiplier will lessen over time. Taking damage from weapons or from falling will also reduce your multiplier progress. Each character has their own scoring strength. Ringo gets bonus points for each takedown performed at close range and is better at keeping melee and stealth kill streaks going, while Python earns additional points by killing enemies with specific number of bullets. These are just a few of the examples. Try each of the characters out to find which unique scoring bonuses fit your playstyle best. Once you finish the mission, you're taken to the post-game screen to see total points, experience gained, your performance on a 1-5 to five star scale, and your leaderboard's position. Be sure to do everything you can to earn a high star count too. If you can earn enough stars, you'll also unlock the right to hunt down and eliminate the elite terrorist leadership in Unit 13, our high value targets, or HVTs. 
HVT missions are incredibly cool and allow you to fight boss type enemies, but we'll get into that and other Unit 13 game types in a future video. I hope you enjoyed this brief window into Unit 13's gameplay. I'm Christian, thanks for watching.